I'm joined here with Becca from the SPCA and she's brought in Nova and if you remember last week we had Naomi in. Well this is Mama. Yes. Very <laughs> adorable husky, husky I believe. Um, <laughs> congratulations on the, uh, Naomi getting yes. adopted. The last <laughs> of the litter and now mom's just left. Uh, tell me a little bit about how she came in uh, to the SPCA. Yeah, she came in as a stray kind of deal. So when she did come in, she was pregnant. Um, so I believe it was maybe about a week after she had her puppies. So uh, once her stray hold was up, then she went out into foster. And uh, yeah, at about six weeks, she was pretty sick of the puppies and was ready to leave the nest <laughs> herself. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and yeah, and then so she came back to the shelter and she just got spayed last week. So now she's finally ready for her home. <laughs> now she is still a puppy herself. So she does require a little <laughs> yeah. bit more uh, attention, more yes. training, uh, definitely. Uh, making sure that she stays in her kennel all yeah. day and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she's more geared towards a specific type of home. Yes. We were meant, yeah. uh, talking a little bit about. Yeah, like we think that she would be, you know, really good in a home where either if if you exercise a lot yourself, then that's great. Like she, we think she's about three years old. So I mean, in normal normal dogs, they've kind of start to calm down a little bit by that point. Mm -hmm. But huskies are just a different breed of their own. <laughs> <laughs> so she has lots of energy. She is able to climb her chain link uh, kennel. So she is in a covered one. So we think that an acreage would be a really good idea for her. Uh, we don't know how she is around livestock, so it's always a trial and error kind of thing as well too. But uh, she's really good. Like she loves human interaction. She hasn't seemed to have any issues with any mm -hmm. humans whatsoever, any any size humans. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, like like she's really good. She just needs that training. Yeah. <laughs> and she's young enough where she'll yeah. still be. She does. She's not set in her ways. Yes. So she is trainable, definitely. Yeah, very treat motivated, as yeah. you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and how is she walking past like the cat um, condos or the kennels or seeing them daily? Yeah. Good, yeah, like she, like I said, she knows how to climb the chain link, so she was out for a full <laughs> night the other <laughs> night. Uh, and again, like, you know, we're always up front with everybody, so she did cause a little bit of destruction. Okay. Um, so that's why we, we really recommend her to go to a home where she can burn off that energy. Mm -hmm. But uh, but you know, she passed the cats all day. Of course, they're all in a, t a tussle about it, but she was <laughs> just checking everybody out and having a good time. Um, but yeah, so I, obviously they weren't out of their kennels either, so we don't know how she would be if they were out, but I think she's just such a gentle natured dog. Mm -hmm. I think she would just want to play. <laughs> and we were talking a little bit, your numbers have gone down yes. both cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. You're calling off the wait list. Yes. Um, how has that been being able to, you know, kind of be in this calm uh, state <laughs> as of right now. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of the, the calm before the storm. We kind of call it, we anticipate kitten season is kind of around the corner. So we're enjoying it being a bit quiet and then being able to call at least for sure the adult cats off of, you know, the stray cats that people have been so willing to hold on to it for us. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's, it's nice to even be able to finally, you know, help them out by getting the cats in. So, I mean, we we've have found that, you know, people have found either the owners mm -hmm. or found, you know, new homes for them <laughs> um, so that's nice as well too but uh, but yeah it is nice to be able to finally call off that waiting list and give those people a break as well and you did have a surge of dogs and puppies and litters yes. coming in yeah how how has that been have the numbers gone down you have adopted quite a lot of puppies yeah uh, her litter specifically yes. Yeah, so yeah, her litter went and then one uh, from our, our little uh, Pyrenees cross litter has gone as well. So they're still in the big kennel and then we have a couple adult dogs still. But uh, but yeah, it's really nice. You know, we have done those adoptions and lowered the numbers nicely. <laughs> so it is nice because normally we don't really have this high number in dogs. Puppies seems to have been a, a big one this year for us. Since December, we've had constant puppies in. So. It's a, you know, it is what it is, but uh, you know, it's nice that it's lower and we have the space for the other animals that need it. And really quickly, is there anything special coming up or is it just uh, business as usual? Yep, business as usual. We're kind of getting caught up, you know, with the, you know, the smaller number of staff. We're getting caught up on all that extra stuff that we're wanting to start and get out in the community with. So yeah, nothing, no, nothing you know, around the corner, but we are planning, starting to plan some things. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for coming yes. in and thank you for bringing in Nova and hopefully yes. she finds her forever home just like yes. her little pups. <laughs> 
Manage your waste and recyclables with Quick Pick Waste Disposal. 100% locally owned and proud to serve and support the communities we call home. Quick Pick, the convenient solution to avoid pollution. 